How? My name is Clawing Gerbil, and welcome to Cowboys vs. Indians PvP. If you missed the first battle, click the link in the annotation below. Today I will be playing as the Indians, naturally, and we are going to take on the white man. He gave us smallpox, we're going to give him tomahawks. <laughs> Alright guys, today I'm going to bring you two different games, and today we are joined by Crazy Hair Jim, Stale Raisin, DC Kid 2, Lady Dark Rain, Whiskrum, and Kyle from Cribcraft, and Dan Lags. We got an all-star cast here today, ready to play some Cowboys vs. Indians. If you don't know how the game works, basically there's two teams of Cowboys and the Indians. The Cowboys have very strong Power 5 Winchester bows, while the Indians have like a knockback 2 regular bow. So the Indians are... Let's call them Native Americans for all intents and purposes. The Native Americans are less equipped with the bow, but their tomahawks are sharp. While they have iron swords, I believe the white man has dull stone swords. So, you want to be... You don't want to get into a firefight as an Indian, as a Native American. I'm going to be playing as a Native American today, and my horse was being stubborn. Everyone starts with a horse, and you got to tame it. So, you got to, you know... Value the time it takes to tame a horse and weigh it against the time you're going to lose from playing the game. We're playing in the suburbs and those are the boundaries. Let's go. I am ready. My posse is posseed up, right? Are we posseed up, guys? I'm going to roll with whoever this is. I don't remember who the teams were. We'll see in the kill feeds who, are, who the teams are. <laughs> it's good to stay together when you're the Indians because, like I said, you can get shot at a moment's notice and be dead. So if you have guys with you, you might not be the, the target of their Winchester rifles. Those things hurt. One arrow to the face can pretty much kill you. I think we have health regen off, so there's that. <laughs> Keep that in mind. And we're going to patrol the, the neighborhood, basically. Uh, this is These are our lands. <laughs> you know what I mean? These are our lands. The white man is encroached. And we're going to hold it down. I know it's post-apocalyptic, but imagine an Indian reservation years into the future. <laughs> That's what we're defending right now. And uh, the white man's trying to re restart civilization. And he's trying to X out the savages. Or so they call us. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm, it's just nonsense, guys. It's all nonsense. I hope you know that. All right. I think we got our first contact here. This is right when we see our first guy. We're assembled in the crosswalk. We got our whole squad, our whole squad here. This is four on four, and uh, we're just looking for people to kill. Basically, we need scalps. We need the scalps, and uh, any scalp will do as long as it's not a member of our own tribe. There's a lot of friendly fire going on. You'll see. I don't know why this game brings out the friendly fire in everybody. <laughs> so much friendly fire. So we're out patrolling and the wandering. No contact yet. I don't know why. Very quiet out here. Very quiet. Okay, here we go. White man. It's on now. It's time to get some shots on them before they see where I'm coming from. Ugh, actually, time to retreat. I don't have my posse with me, so I'm going to go back. We're going to reassemble at the McDonald's. Uh, every Native American's favorite food place. <laughs> it represents everything that has to do with nature. <laughs> so we're going to regroup at McDonald's. I'm going to get off my horse because I can shoot the arrow a lot better. Shoot the bow a lot better when I'm off my horse. Let them come back. Fall back, guys! Fall back! We're going to have the advantage on them. Out of the way. All right. Ambush time. Here we go. Oh, I think I missed. Let's fall back a little bit. Yeah, let's flake around. They think I'm on that side of the McDonald's. They're going to have to think twice because I'm coming around. Here we go. Oh, they had the same idea. Here we go. I have no cover. They're on a horse. This is bad. There's two of them. At least they have two different targets to shoot at. They're not just shooting at me. Oh, and I got this fence. Oh, stale raisin down. Uh-oh. Oh, man, they're coming in on me. I'm in third person. Oh, jeez. Ooh, Lady Dark Rain. Oh, man, this is intense, guys. I'm doing jump shots. I think about splashing myself. I got a speed on me. Uh, this, I don't really need it. I, I think I know who that is. I think I know who that is. We are in a firefight! <laughs> oh man, I just can't hit him. It's so hard to hit a guy with, a, with and he's on a horse and I'm not. I should not have given up my horse. I think I have a disadvantage. I sure do. Kyle! Droll Kyle! Mania! Oh man! 
Kyle from Crit Craft just got me bad. We lost that game. The Cowboys showed us what's what. So let's go into game two. We are Native Americans again. I believe it's the same teams. I got myself a horse. The last horse took me 20 minutes to, <laughs> to tame. Uh, let's hope that this horse is a little less stubborn. Yes. Uh, everyone's having a little bit of trouble with their horse. These horses... Oh, nice! That was quick. That was the fastest I've ever tamed a horse, probably. I'm on... Oh, hey! <laughs> hey, what are you doing? <laughs> That's not yours. Give it back. Hey, I worked hard to tame that thing. You get your own horse. Thank you. <laughs> I don't know who that was, but that was pretty funny. Uh, oh, look at that. See, that guy's got a horse whisperer or something. I don't know. All the horses love him. <laughs> so maybe that's Lady. I'm not even sure. All right. So where are we here? We're going to wait for everyone to get their horses. Then we're going to assemble. We're going to group up. And we are... Hey, man. I think... I'm pretty sure that health regen is off. You need to be careful with uh, what you do here. <laughs> get the horse off the car. You can put indentations on that roof. All right. Can we go fight now, guys? I'm ready to kill some white man. I don't know about you, but I have the fury, the bloodlust. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they don't call us savages for nothing. You know, Native Americans weren't savages. If someone came into your land and started murdering your people, you'd probably fight back too, okay? And you'd fight back pretty savagely, so let's not call them savages. They weren't the ones invading foreign lands uninvited, okay? <laughs> oh, what's this? Hello, white man. Oh, right in the face! Oh, the head, that's gotta hurt. Yeah, he's running away. I don't know who this one is. Oh, friendly fire! Sorry, sorry. <laughs> oh no. You know it happens, guys. Friendly fire is just part of the deal. It's all part of the deal. Ooh, look at that shot. Moving shot. Wasn't a full power arrow, but he got the message. Oh, Kyle, that's for last game. That's what you get. Yeah, stamp out his horse. Stamp out any trace of his existence. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Kyle never existed, guys. <laughs> oh, it's Ruth. Oh, there's another one. It's Ruth that's out here. It's the Wild West. Oh, I was good not to friendly fire that time, guys. Real good. All right, who's next? Who's next on the list? I think I know who's next. My old buddy. Let's give uh, Kyle some privileges so we can fly around and look around, watch the battle as it unfolds. I believe it's Dan, Lags, and Whisker, but the only two cowboys left, so we're going to go in search of these two. They are shifty. They are shifty. So we're going to circle the uh, the neighborhood a little bit, take a little tour, <laughs> you know, become one with the, the earth, with nature. We've already stamped out Kyle's seed. <laughs> we're going to stamp out the other two seeds. Yeah. Uh oh, taking shots. What is this? What is this? Taking fire, guys. That's got to be something. After a little... Oh, my horse! Oh, no! What was I saying about friendly fire? Yes! We got the friendly fire. Oh, come on now. Can't you tell an Indian brother when you see one? Do I look white to you? <laughs> I'm going to do some crazy stuff here. My horse can jump, so I'm going to use that to my advantage and put my horse on the roof. <laughs> I know that Dan is a roof dweller, uh, so if I get on the roof as well, I'm going to be able to see him a lot easier. So let's look out for Dan. I was up on this roof for quite some time, so I'm going to do a little bloop, 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 <laughs> fast forward there. We'll go into the future, and <laughs> we're coming down off the roof. We got word. We got word of cowboy activity over by the mansions, so I'm going to go investigate. Dun, 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 dun. There it is. There it is. What's going on over here, guys? Can I play? I want to play. Oh! Oh! <laughs> A little more friendly fire, but we got Dan in the long run. That's what matters, right? I'm sorry. DC Kid 2. I didn't mean to hit you in the head with my tomahawk, but you did jump right in front of it. <laughs> you know, anything to kill Dan, I will take out a few teammates. <laughs> no biggie. <laughs> All we have left now is Whiskrim. Whiskrim is the only surviving element from their team. And Lord knows where he is. You know, it's not a good idea in this game to be split up from the rest of your posse because that's not how a posse works. <laughs> By definition. To be in the posse, you gotta be with the posse. <laughs> so 
So if you're going to lone wolf it on this, you're going to be at a disadvantage because my team's going to be rolling thick. And they're going to be rolling hard, and they're going to be rolling deep. Okay? <laughs> Where is Whiskrum? He could be anywhere. The boundaries of this game are the demo, and the demo is a very large area. It encompasses more than the suburbs now. It's expanding every day. We're getting more and more buildings in part of the demo. And what that means basically is those buildings have stuff that you can loot inside of them. That's what it means. If the thing has a has stuff to loot, then it's part of our demo. And this demo is slowly going to become the game. And then when it becomes the game, we're going to be done. So, um, yeah, once the demo encompasses the entire map, we're going to be finished. So that's sort of how we're doing it. In the meantime, we're going to be playing Cowboys and Indians. We're going to be playing the Hidden. We're going to be playing GTA mode. Safeway Supermarket Shootout. We have all sorts of games. All sorts of games. Whatever you can think of, basically. We have this... Uh oh was that an arrow for me? Or is that just some more friendly fire? <laughs> What's going on? Uh, something about cowboys and Indians, guys. Okay, so that is extracurricular activity in the spawn trap. Don't worry about that. I hate when that happens, but sometimes it happens. It kind of messes up my video sometimes, because now I'm talking about it. But, uh, yeah, they're, they're just punching each other in the death trap. So I gotta find Whisker... Wait a second. Okay, that's an Indian. Where's Whiskram at? <laughs> Where is Whiskram? There he is! What just happened? <laughs> Whiskram laid down his arms. Did he have some white guilt or something? <laughs> he just said, kill me! <laughs> wow, you know, if only history had gone that way in real life. The white man showing guilt. Uh, the, the, all this killing is going on. A great time to exit the game. You guys are getting out of control. Alright guys, I want to thank everyone who played. I want to thank... Let's go through it again. Crazy Hair Jim, Stale Raisin, DC Kid 2, Lady Dark Rain, Whiskrum, Kyle from Cribcraft, and Dan Lags. You guys are amazing. You've been really great uh, PvP players. It's been a lot of fun. If you want to join the party, then you just got to join the party. Um, <laughs> hit me up on Xbox Live and add me on your, on your friends list, and I will do the same. I'm adding everyone I get on my friends list. I'm at like 600 now, so there's 400-something spaces left. So if you want to play some PvP, hit me up. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for sharing and liking and all that. Check out the past vids because I got a lot of videos under my belt. 100 coming up. We'll see what happens for that. Until that time, guys, uh, thank you for watching. Happy Minecrafting. Peace.